We now want to show you one of our new game modes. It's our twisted take on objective-based team play. Okay, so as Scott was saying, uh, this is a new mode that's designed to really bring out the skill and strategy, uh, class-based play a little bit, as well as team mode, the twisted metal. It's called Nuke, and uh, we'll show you a little bit of that in our rundown, dilapidated uh, city environment. Now, this is a great level to show Nuke off in because there's a lot of gameplay design philosophies at work here. We have low-lying levels that become huge skyscrapers that you can start from bottom, bottom of the ground, fight your way to the top, and have rooftop combat. Uh, we've got a freeway system that connects the whole level together with moving traffic. We've got low-lying slums. Uh, we've got a big junkyard with a huge battle section in the middle. And then we also have uh, these kind of rolling hills that kind of tie everything together in the center. Now this is a great level for straight up car combat, deathmatch, team deathmatch, variations on that mode that you'll be seeing. Uh, but it's great for Nuke as well. Uh, now, online, uh, Twisted Metal is all about factions fighting, fighting factions. And so in this uh, demo, we have the Sweet Tooth faction, the clowns inspired by Sweet Tooth right here from Twisted Metal. And then we also have the dolls, uh, who are inspired by Dollface from Twisted Metal Black. And we'll have more factions to reveal throughout the year uh, as we talk about the game. Now, what is the goal of, uh, of Nuke? Well, if you look up, you see these giant statues being carried around by transport helicopters in the guise of the faction leaders. And you basically have to destroy your faction statue before they destroy yours. But obviously, these are huge, giant, you know, metal monsters, and how do you do it? Straight up weapons won't take them out. All right, so if you look at the rooftops, you'll notice uh, a couple of the faction leaders. Here's Sweet Tooth, who's manning his gun turret. And across the map on the other side, we also have Dollface over here, and she's manning her turret too. And the goal of this mode is to capture the faction leader. And this is where team play begins to come into it, where basically if you run in and try to kill, uh, grab the leader, you're gonna lose a lot of health. You send your buddies in instead to weaken up the forces, the defenses, and then you're able to go in, as we'll see in a second, and grab the leader. And so now that you've got, in this case, Sweet Tooth being dragged behind your car, uh, the question is, what do you do with this guy? So, if you look around the level, you'll notice these uh, missile launchers right here. And uh, each faction has their own missile launcher. And so there's this perimeter you see, this yellow ring. If you can bring the faction leader into the yellow ring, into the perimeter, and keep him there long enough, uh, you'll begin to charge up and bring the missile launcher to life. Now, teamwork, again, is crucial because if you lose the faction leader in that perimeter, like capture the flag, it respawns back at base and you gotta go back and get him again. So if you can get a buddy to post up on top of a skyscraper with a sniper rifle, uh, it's really effective at bringing, uh, taking down the enemies. You can also send in vehicles that are really, really strong, like the motorcycles that have flaming chainsaws. They can take out bad guys in two or three hits. So in this case, we've charged up the missile launcher because we've kept the guy, we've kept the leader in there long enough. And now all that's left to do is basically sacrifice the leader to the missile launcher and you will earn your faction a missile launch. So here he goes. Now he's in, and now you've earned the missile. Now what's left to do is you and your team have to guide that missile and protect it from helicopters and a variety of other attacks into the enemy statue. And the first team to hit the enemy statue three times wins, the, uh, wins nuke for their faction. So that's uh, our nuke mode. We're really excited to meet with the press later in the week to talk about, uh, to, to talk about the mode and more of the depth and whatnot.